Ben Shapiro's remarks underline the urgency of safeguarding freedom of speech against prejudice and collective boycotts aimed at conservative media. It's crucial to uphold diverse perspectives to foster a healthy democracy and encourage individual authenticity and growth. Mr. Shapiro, um, can you explain the importance, I don't want to oversimplify this, can you explain the importance of advertising dollars to growing Daily Wire uh, into the company that it is today? Sure. So the truth is that advertising dollars represent a, fall, a far smaller share of the revenue of the Daily Wire than they did at the very beginning. When you're first starting a company, the possibility of starting it off the basis of subscribers alone is very difficult because you actually don't have tremendous market reach. The gradual increase in revenue is largely due to advertiser revenue. So at the beginning of the Daily Wire, nearly 100% of all revenue that we had when we were building the business was based on advertising revenue. Today, it's significantly smaller than that because we have a very large subscriber base. So the principal threat that I'm here to talk about is not about the bitterness of my company, which continues to be, thank God, highly successful. Uh, the, the reason that I'm here is to talk about startup companies that are attempting to get into the market and are being barred from an extraordinarily large pool of advertising revenue along political lines. Do you believe there is collective boycotts that are happening? There's no question there are collective boycotts happening. And I will say that I do appreciate the chutzpah of, uh, of some of the Democratic members of Congress. I'm charmed by their newfound love for free markets and corporate free speech. That one seems uh, to be a bit of a new one to me. Um, but it is, it is charming only in that it requires you to ignore many of the statements that, that they have made historically about the amount of pressure they would love to bring on private companies when it comes to free speech. And here I will quote the ranking member, quote, these platforms are utilized as conduits to spread vitriolic hate messages into every home and country. Efforts by media companies to counter the search of fallen short social network platforms continue to be used as ready avenues to spread dangerous white nationalist speech. Or that was from 2019, from 2020. It goes way beyond the fact that big tech misbehaves. It's the fact this kind of power exists. That kind of power cannot be allowed to exist in society. But when you use that sort of language with regard to the same companies we're now hearing require free speech, I find that somewhat difficult to swallow. Freedom of speech is under threat from collective boycotts targeting conservative media. Such restrictions on advertising revenue not only undermine freedom of speech, but also stifle the growth and sustainability of various perspectives within the media landscape. This conservative value prioritizes individual rights and a free marketplace of ideas. The right to express one's beliefs authentically, without coercion, is essential. Suppressing conservative media through collective boycotts curtails genuine dialogue and hampers the exploration and expression of individual truth. To promote more authentic and meaningful public discourse, we need a media environment where all voices can be heard and respected. The psychological toll of collective boycotts affects both media producers and consumers. For media producers, these boycotts can lead to feelings of frustration, helplessness, and alienation due to their limited ability to reach and communicate with audiences. For consumers, a lack of diverse perspectives in the media narrows their understanding, limiting their ability to form balanced opinions and make informed decisions. The public's response to Ben Shapiro's remarks reflects concerns about trust and fairness in the media. It's essential to consider how perceptions of bias and the notion that conservative views are unfairly targeted impact public trust in media organizations. To restore this trust and address the perception of injustice, media organizations must demonstrate a commitment to fairness and diversity of thought. Effective leadership and clear communication are vital in addressing concerns about media bias and collective boycotts. Media and political leaders must respect diverse perspectives and foster an open culture, transparently disclosing their actions and motivations. Through this, leaders can restore trust and promote a more inclusive and democratic society.